the MakerBot is uh, allowing us to do things we never dreamed of being able to do. Recently, we started looking at the possibility of actually making the parts that we would use on the airplanes. When the Kodiak was delivered, it didn't have a door stop that would keep the door from coming all the way around into the cowling. We came up originally with a machined piece of rubber. Then I looked at it and said, you know, I think there's a better way that's faster and cheaper overall. If you don't have to machine them, instead you just print them, that means you can get them made pretty quick, then that's perfect. And the way it works is it literally, in the software, takes the 3D part and slices it in about four thousandths of an inch, then it slices it again the next four thousandths, and so on, and so on, and so on. Then it takes and says, okay, now I'm going to make slice number one, then slice number two, and so on until you have however big the part is that you want. The material that it's using right now is a plastic called PLA. It goes over the back and goes into a heater. And when it gets into the heater, it goes up to about 500 degrees and that melts it. And it comes out of a tiny little orifice that creates the actual extruder. Just today, I got a note from one of the guys in Indonesia and he says, hey, this doesn't work quite like we expected on the cargo pod. Can we change that? And the answer is, how soon can the mail deliver it to you? Not how soon can I build it.